Hi there. Let's take a quick look at one of the key models you come across when studying Corporate Social Responsibility or CSR. It's Carol's CSR Pyramid. Now don't forget with CSR this is all about the extent to which the business needs to look beyond its shareholders and consider its responsibilities to a wider group of stakeholders whether it be society, uh, customers, suppliers and the rest. And of course with CSR it's a subjective judgment as to where you believe a business's responsibilities start and end. If you recall the traditional view of CSR from the likes of Milton Friedman was that it was business's uh, job or responsibility just to make profit and that it shouldn't really have any other wider responsibilities to society. But over the years, a wider view has developed of uh, the framework under which businesses make decisions. And this is really the basis for Archie Carroll's pyramid. His view was that whilst profit is important, businesses need to think wider in terms of both their purpose and their responsibilities to society. And so he developed the CSR pyramid, which has four elements to it. And we'll look at these four briefly. The key thing to remember about the pyramid is it's just a framework for thinking about CSR. It's not necessarily a model that you apply in terms of making decisions about CSR. So let's look at this framework. The starting point is the foundation of CSR, which Carol argued was the economic. And what he was really saying here is that before a business can start to do the other clever stuff like philanthropic activities, it first must make a profit. A business is only useful to society if it's profitable, if it's able to survive, generate profits, pay wages and so forth. So it starts, CSR starts with economics and then moves on to making sure that a business uh, fulfills its responsibilities to obey the law. So there's obviously a wide range of legislation and regulations that businesses need to comply with. And Carroll argued that that was the next layer in the foundation of being socially responsible. After having established your economic and legal responsibilities, the next layer, Carol argues, is ethical responsibility. The, uh, the responsibility of a business to do the right thing, to act morally and ethically, going beyond precisely what the law requires in terms of how you treat, uh, let's give you an example, how you treat your employees. Uh, the uh, the working conditions that you offer. And lastly, Carol argued that if you'd built the foundations of CSR by dealing with economic, legal and ethical responsibilities, the next layer on top was what he called philanthropic. This is where business goes beyond acting legally, ethically, but also starts to give back to society. For example, uh, staff working on projects for society, um, the sponsorship of uh, charitable uh, activities, the local sports club, that kind of stuff. The philanthropic activities that businesses like to do, and in particular because it appears to give them, in some cases, a sort of a marketing benefit, being seen to be giving something back to society. So there we go, that was what Carol was saying. He was saying that CSR has four levels, but the most important thing is you have to get the economics right first, you have to make a profit. It's a useful model. It's relatively easy to understand and apply. And of course, importantly, it emphasizes the, uh, the, uh, the importance of a business surviving and making profit in order to be able to do all the other stuff. Uh, so don't get too upset if you don't understand all the detail of this model. It's just a framework, but a useful one to bring into any answers on CSR or corporate social responsibility.